I apologize in advance. It's raining and you're probably gonna be hearing this, but it's been raining every single day here in Florida. I don't know what is happening, at least here in South Florida. Every day, every day. Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. In this video, we have another foundation review. How many foundations more we have? I think we have like two or three more foundations to review this summer. Oh my God, so many foundations. But I think this is super good. I mean, we have in the Pamagraph, we have the Naked, that I think I'm a little late for that one. We have now the Anastasia Beverly Hills, we're going to have the Charlotte Tilbury, we're gonna have the new Fenty, so many foundations. But this time, we are going to be reviewing the Anastasia Beverly Hills new foundation, liquid foundation. And I have it right here. I just went to Ulta very, very fast and grab it. I wanted to order online because I wanted a setting powder, but I just couldn't wait. I just wanted to get the foundation in my hands as soon as possible and put this review for you. But this is the foundation. Here it is. It's this reflecting silver packaging, which I think is beautiful. It looks very, very nice. And here says foundation. I got mine in the shade 160 C, 160C, <laughs> and I hope that this is a good match. I was between this one and 200 W, but I think this one matched better my neck. And as you notice, I have a lot of issues lately with matching my neck, but I think this is a good match, or at least it's one of the best matches that I saw in store. This box has a lot a lot, a lot of claims. It says that it has, that it's vegan, gluten free, alcohol free, clinical tested, dermatology tested, ophthalmology tested, my mom tested, I tested, everybody tested. Suitable for sensitive skin, long wearing, no flashback. This is, this is good. I mean, it's a perfect foundation. It has the normal one ounces and 30 milliliters. Uh, the name of it is Luminous Foundation, and I got mine again in 160C. And let's just look at the actual packaging of the foundation. This box, beautiful. I like that one. And here is the component. Guys, this is pretty. I like it. Very simple, beautiful, glass bottle, black top, black names and everything and he said Anastasia Beverly Hills here very nice and here says foundation very cartoonish very funny but at the same time it looks nice I mean it could have been okay without it but I mean if you have any doubt this is your foundation <laughs> this one last says 12 months and again it's cruelty free it's made in USA so Let's try this. And I'm going to be applying this with my Beauty Blender. This is one of my favorite ways to apply foundation, so I'm just gonna do it that way. And as a primer, I'm going to be using my Hourglass Veil. I use this pretty much with any brand new foundation to just have one specific primer that I like to use with all of them. When I'm testing them to make sure that I have the same or very similar conditions for every foundation. And I hope this color is not too light for me, but I'm pretty sure it's okay. So this is a medium cover foundation, luminous medium cover foundation. So I'm gonna be adding two pumps at the beginning and then let's see how it looks. So this is how it looks after I apply it. This is 160. I am between 160, 200, and 210. So, I mean, those three colors kind of like work okay for me. 200 is a little bit too dark, but 210 maybe will work. I don't know, but this is 160. And it looks okay though. I bronze my face a lot normally. And as you see in my neck, you don't see anything. And I apply on my neck. I apply onto around here and from here to here it looks very similar so I mean it might be a little bit too pink for me but at the same time it doesn't look bad at all so 
Sephora says this is a water resistant liquid foundation that creates a lum luminous natural finish and it's a long wear even without setting powder. So since they're claiming that, we are gonna set our face only again the left side. I'm going to be setting my face in the right, left side and this is not gonna be a regular makeup day because if I'm not setting my makeup all over the place, I'm not gonna be able to apply powders in the right way like my um, bronzer and all that is not gonna apply nicely and smoothly because I haven't set my foundation so since this thing says that it's perfectly fine no setting it I'm just gonna say half of my face and we will see if that claim is true so I'm gonna be setting my left side on my face I'm gonna put some brows some cheek product maybe some blush like last time I did the same thing and I will be right back. So this is how the makeup looks like. I set half of the face, this left side, with my Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder, setting powder. I add some bronzer by Fenty, this is the Shabby's. I put some blush, this is by Makeup Forever. I have a lip product by the brand Fresh. This is the Sugar Peach Hydrating Lip Balm. And for my brows, I keep it super simple. I'm using this by Benefit Grip Me Brow in the color or the number three. So this is how everything looks like. As a first impression, the foundation looks beautiful. I didn't add a lot. I am sure you can build up but this medium cover is beautiful. As of now, I really like it. It looks very, very pretty. Let's see how the left side looks at the end of the day. Because as you remember, as I said before, I set this side with my Bell Hourglass setting powder, translucent setting powder, and I didn't set this side of the face because the foundation, they claim that it's fine not to set the foundation, so let's see how it looks at the end of the day all right guys it's been 10 hours since i applied this foundation and how does it look i'm impressed actually my oils are coming through obviously more in my teeth on my nose my my forehead is more than my cheeks just like i said before i'm a combo skin type so i have certain areas that is very dry and certain areas that is very oily but in general, the area, the left side where I put the setting powder, the hourglass veil setting powder, it looks much better than the one that I didn't set my face. But again, it's not like huge difference, but it makes it look better. It's kind of grabbing the texture on my skin. I can see my pores. I have a problem pore area here. Uh, it's kicking a little bit here on my nose um, It's very dry in this area right here um, I mean it's not the perfect situation, but it's not too crazy Anastasia Beverly Hills I think as a first basically second foundation, but as a first liquid formula is a very good one I don't think it's horrible but if it is not marking a specific person, if you have oily skin, you might hate this thing. If you have extremely dry skin, you might still hate it. So I think if you have a very normal, very balanced skin, you definitely will love it. If you like high-end makeup and if you like a little bit of fashion, please consider subscribing to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye!